During this weekend, I was enjoying myself, just relaxing, and honestly just enjoying life when I got an Instagram DM from a subscriber. He sent me a screenshot of an article from NBA Central saying the following. Kendrick Perkins says Giannis Antetokounmpo isn't marketable like Ja Morant, Luka Doncic, Trey Young, and Jason Tatum. And at first, this made me very mad, but I said, hold on, there has to be more context. I'm not believing just that. I need to see it. I then went to Kendrick Perkins' Twitter, and I found this. Now, at first, when I saw this tweet, I wasn't mad. I was like, that's a good, genuine tweet. Ja Morant Luka Doncic and Trey Young are going to be the face of the league and Jason Tatum is definitely getting up there. One of these guys has the potential to be the face of the league in the near future. Personally, I think it's going to be a guy like Luka Doncic, but that's just my opinion. Until I realized something. Did Kendrick Perkins forget about Giannis? So I went to the comment section and my mind was blown. Giannis is in the league, bro. I look at Giannis like Tim Duncan. He's great, but not marketable like those other guys. This has to be the dumbest shit that I've ever seen. About a month ago, I made a video about Giannis where I talked about all the hate he was getting and it was mostly from the fact that people were saying that he couldn't be the face of the league. And the whole reason why he couldn't be the face of the league came down to two things. Number one, people apparently can't say his name and that was the only legitimate reason I could find. There was no real other reason why Giannis can't be the face of the league. However, I've seen this before with people when they disrespect Giannis so I decided, hey, I'm not going to talk about this anymore and I'm going to move on to a different topic. Until Kendrick Perkins decided to say the dumbest shit that I've seen all year. Now what he said in the first part of his tweet talking about those top three guys, he's not wrong about that. Those guys could easily be the face of the league. If you think Giannis isn't going to be the face of the league, that's fine. Honestly, with any of these guys, like I've been saying, you can make an argument. In fact, the argument could switch every other day. Personally, I think Giannis is the best player in the NBA and I'm going to stand by that. And the man is only 26, so technically he's not even in his prime yet. However, when Kendrick Perkins completely ignored the fact that Giannis could be the face of the league and said he's not marketable and he like Tim Duncan, I find that pretty disrespectful. And that's no hate to Tim Duncan, but Tim Duncan really just wasn't a loud guy. You know, he was very quiet. He was a very fundamental sound player and he wasn't really that popular of a guy, which you could argue that's one of the reasons why a whole lot of people really don't consider him the greatest power forward of all time. And up until Giannis, I would have said he was. In fact, I think Tim Duncan is still the greatest power forward of all time. However, I think Giannis is slowly creeping up on him, but that's another topic for another discussion. I guess the reason why I brought this up is because because this is one of the reasons why I hate traditional NBA media. Now, there's been this rumor going on lately about the NBA that the traditional NBA media and the NBA as a whole really doesn't like overseas players. Which, if you notice, when I made videos talking about guys that the NBA media really doesn't respect, like Giannis and Nikola Jokic for the most part, they're both from overseas, and they're both players that the NBA media really just don't respect. In fact, the NBA media has been saying a bunch of dumb shit lately, and when I tell you a bunch of dumb shit, I mean my brain can't can't even comprehend it. The other day on Undisputed, someone said that Jason Tatum was the best one-on-one -on -one player since Kobe Bryant. I get it, he's electrifying, but Jason Tatum is the answer here. Jason Tatum might be the best one-on-one -on -one player in the NBA since Kobe Bryant. Listen, I know this video is coming out literally the day after Jason Tatum dropped like 54 points, but let me just explain something about Tatum and his game. Tatum is a great player, don't get me wrong. In fact, I have a plan to make a video on him really soon because the men has been going off lately and he's one of the reasons why the Celtics have been so successful. Successful. Are we really forgetting about guys like Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, Joel Embiid, Nikola Jokic, Steph Curry? I get you're trying to make your point, but it's a really dumb point. I'm not going to lie to you. As I've been on YouTube for a while and I've talked about the NBA media, I've started to realize that they can't exactly agree on every single thing or the show would be boring. However, saying something like this is absolutely stupid and you look like you know nothing about basketball. Oh wait, maybe you don't. However, I've never seen this guy before. Maybe he's a rookie to the whole thing. Maybe he's new to sports. I'm going to give him a pass. Now a lot of you guys on this channel know about Skip Bayless and we're not exactly talking about him, we're talking about the Walmart version. Yes, I found a Walmart version of Skip Bayless and I cannot believe it, he's literally the same thing. And that even goes with the LeBron hate. But in the peak of his career, and this is my, in my opinion now, peak of his career, I'll take Bird. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm done. Nope. I'm walking away. I'm walking away. Who in the fuck has ever said in their right mind that is not the age of 70 years old that Larry Bird is the second best player of all time? Larry Bird isn't even a top 10 player, let alone the number two player. He would follow this up by saying that he believes that Larry Bird is a better clutch player than LeBron. Now, it was weird because I had some people saying LeBron was more clutch. I had some people saying Larry Bird was more clutch, but according to some numbers I've seen, I gotta give it to LeBron. And even if Larry Bird had 
had more clutch numbers, I don't think that's the only factor that should make him, according to this guy, better than LeBron James. However, we can have an argument about this. Me and you, back and forth, we could have a pretty good debate about this, and at the end of the day, I wouldn't get mad with the result. I'm gonna say LeBron James, but if you were to say Larry Bird, I wouldn't be like, oh my god, you know nothing about basketball. This is the reason why I'm saying this guy knows nothing about basketball. So crazy, I know yeah. Steve. I know Steve. He probably wants to put him top 10 all the time. I'll buy that. He's not a top 10 player. I've never seen a man more pissed off in my life than Stephen A. Smith. I mean, look at the man. His arms are crossed, looking like he's about to end this man with one sentence. I think Steph Curry is a top 10 player of all time. I mean, if you're the best at one single thing, which obviously Steph Curry is the greatest shooter of all time, I think you're at least top 10. And I mean, if we look at the accolades, you could definitely make the argument for that. If you thought that was bad, after this, he would go on to talk about his ring and basically try to say reasons why Steph Curry didn't deserve those rings. Two of them were because of Kevin Durant and the other one was because of Andre Iguodala. Which by the way for those of you that don't know was complete bullshit because the argument was oh he had good defense on LeBron James however LeBron averaged 35 13 and 8. So the reason why he won I will never understand. Oh and since we're talking about the NBA media and why I hate it let's just talk about Nick Wright who is the biggest joke of the NBA media and is the reason why I've contemplated why I even talk about the NBA. So last night Nikola Jokic had arguably his greatest game of the season so far having 46 points, 12 rebounds, 11 assists, 3 steals, and 4 blocks in a triple overtime win versus the Pelicans. So when Nick Wright was talking about it, they were comparing it to other performances. One of them was LeBron's performance, one of them was Nikola Jokic's performance, and I think the other one was Jason Tatum's. No disrespect to LeBron, but I'm sorry, Nikola Jokic had the better performance by far. And Nick Wright said it was a silver performance, basically saying that it was just average among those three performances. Which makes absolutely no sense to me, as I would like to say that Nikola Jokic had the best game this weekend and yet there is not going to be a full segment of people talking about him because well Nikola Jokic doesn't get the love he deserves from the NBA media which again is kind of one of the reasons why I even made this video because there are so many things in the NBA media that I don't like whether it's people not talking about these overseas guys like Giannis and Nikola Jokic whether it's people making stupid ass comparisons like saying Jason Tatum is the number one player in the NBA when it comes to one on one whether it's Walmart skip Bayless trying to tell me that Steph Curry is in top 10 all time and saying that Larry Bird is the second greatest player in the NBA all time. There are so many reasons why now I get my news and my information and my speculation on the NBA from other NBA YouTubers. Because when it comes to NBA media, they have agendas, they have a script to follow. Meanwhile, if you ask literally any other NBA YouTuber, no one's putting a gun to their head and telling them you have to say this. If you're someone that doesn't exactly like these dumbass antics and the stupid stuff that people say in the media, I recommend you check out the 10 plus NBA YouTubers I'm gonna link in the link in the description below. Oh, and if you want to see someone talk about the NBA and debate fans live on Twitch, then I'd recommend you check out my Twitch, twitch.tv slash omspecs. The main point I'm trying to get across is that I don't like NBA media because of the stupid shit that people say just for clicks, and it's not even about basketball anymore. It's about getting a certain clip on Twitter or Instagram and getting people just to talk about your show, but not for the right reasons. These people aren't talking about the NBA to talk about the NBA. They're they're talking about the NBA just to go viral or for the shows to get more hits. I get it, as someone's job that it relies on me getting as much views and subscriptions and just overall people and traffic on my channel, I can understand where you're coming from. However, the reason why people subscribe to my channel and check out my videos is because I actually give a perspective on basketball and I'm not just saying stupid shit to go viral. I think that's why a lot of people that comment on my videos have been saying that they've lost so much respect for NBA media and that's why they like channels like mine because I'm actually gonna talk about basketball and not just try to push a fucking agenda. I mean, that's probably the reason why these shows have been losing a lot of ratings these past couple years. But hey, what do I know? I'm just an NBA YouTuber that knows nothing about basketball because I have no experience going on any of these talk shows, I didn't go to college, I don't have a journalist experience, and all these other stupid fucking things.